What's up, you guys? <clears throat> my name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, past two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, excuse me. I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I wasn't going to do another reading tonight. It's 11.08 p.m. 12.06 of 2022. But I felt guided to do it. And I was sitting here. I went to Walmart um, earlier this evening to get some groceries for the month. Um, and stocked up. And uh, there was a the local little homeless. I'll just tell you this real quick and then we'll get into it. But um, there's a local homeless man um, that is very prominent around our community, like very prominent. Um, he's autistic. He doesn't speak much. And when he does, you can barely understand what he's saying. Like he's very um, high spectrum, um, very. Um, like I was communicating with him. Well, I'll tell you the story and then we'll go into it. But so he's a local homeless man, but his family is very, 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 very wealthy. They own many businesses around here many they're very wealthy they know he's homeless and they know he's autistic they know him but yet they choose to leave him homeless he basically hangs around walmart mapco which is a convenience store across the street and walks down the um, highway for his day like that's his day hanging around walmart Mabco, which is smart because that's the safest convenience store around here. So he chose a good one, but and walking up and down the highway in the city all day. Like anytime I get out, I see him walking up and down the highway, or I see him in Walmart, or I see him at uh, Mabco. And I'm serious. But his family, according to locals, like I didn't know this. Some people told me this about a month ago. But his family knows he's homeless. Do they help him? No. And they're rich. They are so super wealthy. And it's really terrible. It's terrible. But anyways, I was saying all this to say, tonight he was sitting in Walmart. And I was checking out. And um, like I said, I see him all the time. Walking up and down the highway. I see him in Mapco. I see him all the time. Because this is his little spot. I mean, I don't know where he sleeps. But during the day, that's where he goes. But anyway, so tonight I was checking out and he was sitting at the bench in Walmart. And so um, when I was at the self-checkout, I asked one of the, he was very young. Uh, he was African-American and so is the, so is a homeless man. He's African-American. He's an older African-American man. He's probably in his fifties, maybe his sixties, but he's autistic, very high spectrum, but Anyway, so I was asking one of the Walmart employees, he's a very, very young um, African-American, uh, if I could give him some groceries um, because he was sitting over there with like a third of a bottle of orange soda and he looked hungry. I mean, and I'm serious, which he always kind of looks hungry, but I was able to do it. Like I just, I mean, I just bought like $300 worth of groceries, so I, you know, I'm not going to roll out of there and not offer him something. You know what I'm saying? And I've never seen him sit in the bench at Walmart. I've seen him outside of Walmart. I've never seen him inside Walmart. So, anyways, he said, yeah. I was like, well, I just want to make sure before I give it to him since we're in the store that nobody arrests him uh, because I know he's autistic. And um, I don't want, you know, I don't want him to get arrested for something he didn't do. And um, he said, no, he's like, really, it's fine. He's like, because we're having this conversation. So if anybody asks, you know, they can pull the cameras and I can tell them I spoke to you and we're standing right here talking about it and they'll see you on camera handing him the items and we'll be fine. So I said, okay. So, um, so I went over um, to the bench, which the guy, you know, the autistic older man, he was not far from us. So I went over to him and offered him some food I asked him if he was hungry and he said yeah 
So I gave him, you know, some ham and a couple other items. But my point is, I think it's terrible that his family, his own blood, which I know toxic family, we talk about all the time on here, but his own blood, rich and wealthy and affluent and making tons of money in this city. But yet, and I don't know what they drive or where they live, but I'm sure in very nice homes and very nice vehicles. How can they drive down the street and see their own autistic, a special needs person at that, homeless? I mean, how? Like, how heartless and cruel is that? And I'm just being serious. It was terrible. If I had a little tiny home, he's very harmless. He's very, very, very harmless. And he's very sweet. But like I said, when I, I realized he was very high spectrum because when I spoke to him tonight to offer him the food, he could barely, like he could speak, but you could barely understand him. Um, so he's very high spectrum. But my point is that would be all the other reason to care for him. In my opinion, if I had the money for a tiny home, I would put it out in my backyard, hook up the electric and water, and let him live in it. He's very harmless. And he's very sweet. But it's terrible. It is so terrible. Um, if anybody is family with this person and you have the gall and audacity and you watch my channel, I don't know if you do, but I'm just putting it out there. And you drive up and down in your nice shiny vehicle or vehicles and you live in your nice, uh, nice mansion or mansion. And you know your family member basically roams around Huntsville, Alabama as a homeless person, a high-level, high-spectrum, autistic homeless person. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just putting that out there. Okay? All right. So we're getting into the reading. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry to go off like that. But my gosh, you guys. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. It is terrible. I think about him all the time when I drive down to go wherever I'm going to pay my bills or... Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever I'm doing. I see him all the time out walking up and down the highway, Walmart, Mavco. I mean, if it wasn't for people like, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that offers him food, but I know some of the employees at Mavco buy him sodas from time to time. I'm not the only one, but my point is, if it wasn't for people like us, he'd probably be laying dead out on the street. And that's just the truth. I think it's really, really, really terrible. Really terrible. And um, so if any of his family members watch my channel, you should be ashamed of yourself. Just saying, just saying. Getting put on um, Social Security or something. Um, getting set up somewhere. You guys are wealthy. You have the resources to do it. Set him up somewhere. If anybody needs to hear that, okay, all right, okay, so I'm sorry about that little rant, but um, I just felt very inclined to do that, because it's really terrible, it's terrible, okay, so, um, oh my gosh, I forgot the channel, give me a second, I got off on a rant, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. So the channel message I received was, um, okay, so I got a small little vision with the cha with the channeling, clear audience channeling as I was getting this um, before I clicked the camera on. Okay. So it was small, clear audience, but it was a small vision, very short of basically a huge blizzard, like a huge blizzard. Uh, snow, I mean, obviously, snow, 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 huge, and um, a plane about to take off, and I didn't, I didn't see if it was Southwest Airlines, uh, American Airlines, JetBlue, I didn't, I didn't see what airline it was, you could barely see the airplane coming through on the airway, uh, on the taxiway, because there was so much snow, but that is what I saw. And it was only like five or ten seconds and then it cut off. Cut off, okay? So, 
huge blizzard with an air, with an airplane coming down the taxiway, right? It cut off. Well, then, so after that, um, I got a channeling that basically there's going to be a very significant blizzard soon. Um, and, um, and, um, an airplane will end up crashing. I heard it's going to be a very significant airplane crash for, um, a feminine, particular fem energy will be on this airplane. I was like, um, sorry, not, I was like, <laughs> that's just me. Um, the fem energy will, I heard a fem energy will be on this airplane, but I heard it will crash and I heard she will die, but she, um, I heard it is negative karma for her because of all the terrible things she's done in the past. I heard, uh, crimes against humanity, huge government secrets. Um, I heard, um, uh, uh, she works for the government. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates, but there's some kind of huge government secrets, crimes against humanity. Um, and the CIA was involved. And the CIA was involved, just now. And the CIA was involved. So, she works for the government. Well, I mean, she's going to pass away. So, I mean, she's not going to be over on our realm anymore. But, sounds like before she passes away, she's gonna, she works for the government. It could be a business trip or it could be a personal trip. I don't know. I didn't hear specifics of that. But, she works for the government. So, I don't know what government that is. That could be the United States of America's government or somebody else's government. How that resonates and applies, but she has a fem energy that works for some government in the world, and it sounds like it's negative karma the death of her um, on this um, on this situation. Now, why an airplane is flying in a blizzard? I have no idea. It's not going to start off that way. It's not going to start off that way. That's what I heard. So, okay. So, when I saw it in the vision, though, it looked like very heavy stuff. I mean, blizzard It looked blizzardly. Um, and it looked like it was about to take off. But I just heard it's not going to start that way. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe the, um, I may, I'm thinking maybe it, it waits out there for a while and then maybe it subsides or something. And um, the weather um, team decides that it's uh, watching the radar, that it's not going to be as bad. I mean, I, I'm not sure, but I just heard it's not going to start off that way. But in the vision, it looked like a damn blizzard. I'll tell you that right now. Um, maybe they're going to tell people it didn't start off that way. I don't know to cover their ass, but I'm telling you in the vision, it looked like a fucking blizzard and it was about to, Take off. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, it hasn't happened yet. The plane crash hasn't happened yet. There's a lot of snow involved in this. Blizzard. I mean, we're not talking about a few flat, fat, fun flakes. We're talking about a damn blizzard. And we're talking, um, she works for the government, some kind of government. And there's some kind of government secrets. And the CIA was involved in the past. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard she will die. It's fem energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. It is going to shock the hell out of a city in her hometown. It is going to shock the hell out of her city and her hometown. After the death. After the death. It's going to shock the hell out of her city and the, her hometown after the death. So it sounds like she's going to die in the middle of this of a plane crash. Um, I don't know. The airlines are going to be extremely, 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 extremely busy that day. Extremely. The weather command is going to think it's going to taper off. They're going to miscalculate. 
They're going to get in over their heads. And it's going to go downhill from there. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Wow. So, okay, so it sounds like some kind of miscalculation of weather is what it sounds like. Um, Because I was wondering, because like I said, in the beginning of the vision, it was pouring snow. I mean, blizzard, blizzard, blizzardly. Um, and basically, um, I heard the weather team's basically going to miscalculate. So I think they're probably weighed out on the taxiway for a while, is what I'm presuming, for safety. Um, and then take off, but I heard they're going to miscalculate. So I think when they take off, it'll probably taper down a little bit, but it sounds like it's going to pick back up. But when I saw it, it was coming down. Like there was no mercy with that snow, but sounds like it's going to happen again. But, um, but there will be a government, uh, female energy on this plane that has, Participated in some terrible government secrets and something to do with CIA of the past, criminal intelligence agency. So I think she might be employed for the United States government or connected to somebody in the United States government. How that resonates and applies. But um, it sounds like she's about to get negative karma. I mean, this is yikes. Her it's gonna shock the hell out of her her hometown and her um and a city. So She's very heavy into dark arts. Very, very heavy in dark arts. But attempts to cloak her energy. But that has backfired and it will continue to backfire. She's very, very, very heavy in dark arts. She's uh, attempted to cloak her energy. It sounds like in the past, but that has backfired and will continue to backfire. So cloaking the energy is basically trying to cloak your inner. You know, people lie energy don't. So she's trying to cloak her energy like she's not negative energy or dark energy, but she really is. Um, I heard the cloaking mechanism of her energy has already backfired. So people really see her energy and her vibe space for basically what it is. And I heard more about to, but she's about to pass away, man. I mean, you can't get much more negative karma than an actual death. And I'm serious. Um, and this is, sounds like it's about to be a plane crash. Um, some kind of winter storm. So, let me see if I hear anything else. When she passes away, it's going to cause huge chaos because there were so many lies there in the past. So many. When she passes away, it's going to cause a lot of chaos because there were so many lies there in the past. Family secrets. Toxic family secrets, too. Toxic family secrets, too. So when she passes away, it's going to cause not only, well, not only chaos because of some kind of government secrets, but some kind of toxic family secrets, too. Um, because of so many lies in the past. So. Whoever she is, she's very dark, very toxic. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.